wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a torque dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. So this rare item that torque dog claimed to have, what can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what, what? Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope, what are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I, um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. 
Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little no, while ago to put get... put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog... Whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Panic, 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 one of you has the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. 
An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Now nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I... And the white pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Dan. 